Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about 3D text. So 3D text is actually a newer command in SketchUp for iPad. It wasn't part of the original release. So uh, if you've been on SketchUp for iPad since the beginning, this might be new for you. Uh, if not, if you're just getting into it, then here's a command. So 3D text is a little different from like the, the initial text tool where you go and you put on-screen text. Uh, 3D text lets you actually put three-dimensional entities into your model that represent text. And we're going to hop in and take a look at how to do that right now. Okay, so I have a little shape here. And this shape is just uh, to kind of give us some surfaces to put text on. Uh, we're just going to hop in and start doing this. I'm going to do this all with a pencil. Uh, touching or tapping is very similar, but the pencil is kind of the, the ideal way to do this. So I'm going to come in here. It's not part of the default toolbar here. So you do have to go into the ellipse down at the bottom to bring up the full tool set. And you'll find it right here at the top. It's right in the middle, second row. I'm going to click on 3D text. Immediately, what happens is it prompts you, what text do you want to put in? Pretty simple, right? Makes sense. Uh, so I'm just going to put some text in here. Right now it says enter text. I'm going to scribble that. I'm going to go ahead and scribble that out. And oops, scribble that out. And type, just put in 3D text. And then it's going to put that text that whatever I type in here is going to go in. So I can put in multiple lines and put text return. I can, you know, use an on-screen keyboard or a remote keyboard. It doesn't really matter how I get it in, but whatever text I put in here in this field is what's going to end up in my model. I have the option of changing the typeface. So I can actually come in here. I can choose a different font if I wanted to. Uh, I could choose if I want, you know, different face, bold, light, whatever, and then alignment. So if I do have multiple lines, how do I want to place it? Do I place it left justified, right justified, center? Very simple tech stuff. Now, here's the fun part. This is where the sketchup ness comes into play. In here, I can set the height. So what's the overall height? Uh, I'm working a template that's in inches, so it's going to show me my, my height in inches. Do I want to fill the text? I can actually turn this off and get just lines representing where the text are. So that's an option. And then do I want an extrusion? Do I actually want a 3D face? Do I want this to extend out? I'm going to go ahead and leave this exactly how it is. We're going to see what a 20 tall filled two extrusion looks like in my text. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. As soon as I click OK, what it's going to do is it's going to create a, a group of 3D geometry that represents this text in 3D space this tall filled in with this extrusion. So watch, this is going to happen immediately. I'm going to click OK. And there's my text. Now, my text right now is jumped, it, it's placed at the origin. So the lower left corner is at the origin. But as I move my pencil around the screen, I can see what I can do is I can place this on any surface. And this happens just by moving over a surface. So I'm on this front face of this shape, it's snapping there. If I come around to this side, it snaps there. If I go to the top, it'll snap, snap flat. Uh, if I go on this angled face, it'll put it at an angle. It doesn't fit on the face, but it doesn't matter wherever the cursor is. So I'm going to go ahead and let it, I'm going to go click on this front face and it's going to place it there. So immediately upon placing, uh, it does select the group. So you can see there, my group is highlighted um, and you can see that group is separate from this geometry out here. Now, here's the cool thing about 3D text once it gets placed. It's just SketchUp geometry. So there's actually not a tie to the original text that created this and what's created here. So what that means is I can go into select, I'll double tap to enter here, and now I can do whatever I want with this geometry. So if I want to come in here, push, pull, and maybe pull the three and the capital T out, I can do that because it's just SketchUp geometry. If I want to, uh, I don't know, do something silly, like get rid of this last T, I could do that. And I could have 3D text. It's all just geometry. So you can actually do whatever you want. You can color it. You can, I can actually come out here. So we'll go ahead and exit this group. And at this point, like I said, just geometry. So if I wanted to move it or scale it, ooh, let's scale it. Let's make it bigger. I can do that just by clicking here and then scaling it larger. It's just geometry at this point, but it is also text, and it's text that goes along with, with the model 
in the model, no matter where you rotate to in this, it's always going to have this text on the front. So you can use it to do things like create labels. So let's go back into 3D text again, and we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of this and type a uh, new text. I'm really, I'm committing to that term text here. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to turn off extrusions and fill and I'm going to say, okay, and I'm going to place that right here. Now look what, see what that created? That just created some letters. So if I deselect it, that just looks like letters on the screen. There's no, there's no, uh, you know, it's not pulled through or anything like that. That gives me the ability to basically make labels that stay on the screen. Of course, remember with the text command that we put in here, we have these floating labels that kind of sit off the side, or you can make a screen label, that kind of thing. With this, it's actual words or letters that sit on there. Of course, same thing. This is kind of a double-edged sword, I suppose. It is just geometry. So this is just a series of lines that look like outlines of the words new text, but it's actually just a series of edges in a group. So they're in a group still, so I could always come in and you know select them and move them around, but I can't go in there and say, you know, oh, change that to newer text. That would be a new label or it'd have to make ER label and then come move geometry around to fit it right in there. At this point, just geometry. But very cool way to put text onto your model. Also a cool way to create geometry from that text. So not a difficult command to use at all. The important thing, obviously the thing that I stressed there was it's important to know what it is you're creating because you are creating a series of geometric shapes that look like text they're not actually it's not like not like a, a text field i go and edit later or anything like that just an fyi just something to keep in mind as you look at that uh, but yeah great uh great tool for putting that kind of geometry in great great way to put text into your model uh check it out if you haven't used it already and uh, let us know what you think. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos around here each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you use 3D text? Have you been using an iPad for a while? Is this a new thing for you? Let us know what you think. We like making these videos a lot. We like me more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.